Metro. Departure information. November. Time 1808. Automatic. Departure runway 27 right. Surface wind 310. Five knots. Visibility 10 kilometer or more. Overcast 4,400 feet. Temperature plus 9. Dew point plus 1. KNH 1016. Pilots that are in receipt of data link clearances are reminded that they must contact delivery on 121.975 when ready to start. Acknowledge receipt of information November and report aircraft type and current QNH on first contact with Heathrow. I fly A320s for a living and I'm always struck by the fact that when I'm sitting in this A320 cockpit everything feels instantly familiar. Even doing something as simple as turning on the batteries and either connecting ground power or starting the APU, I can hear the aircraft come to life just like the real thing. And when I flick switches or push buttons I know they're integral parts of complete systems that function in real time and you can actually sense that. So whether I'm sitting up the cockpit, programming the FMGC, dealing with an ECAM alert, doing a non-precision approach, I am continually impressed by all the subtle details that have been reproduced that reflect the unmistakable character of the real A320. The fact that as an A320 captain I can just fire up this sim and operate it as the real aircraft is fantastic. The flight simmer who wants to study, understand, operate and fly the A320 will find the perfect platform here. The Air 320 is perfect to practice procedures, refresh knowledge of the complex aircraft systems and experience the joy of fly-by-wire. It sounds and feels like the real thing, the sounds bring the experience of the Air 320 flight deck to life and you can fly it using the numbers produced in the real aircraft manuals. Right, right. 
Uh, so it's at 71, uh, so it's through the 322. 22, hold position 1285, bye-bye. Coding the ARM42419 protocol specifications fully in RF20 allowed us to provide extremely accurate renderings of various departure and approach types, including all latest ARNAV procedures. More importantly, it achieved something very unique among desktop sims. It allowed the flight guidance part of the FMGC to fly any of these procedures correctly, both laterally, which is the easy part, but also in the 3D vertical space using flight path vectors to simulate the same navigation process used in the real aircraft. Kilo 1030, ready at 419. Kilo 1030, thank you, hold position, contact point on 121.7, bye-bye. Point 7, bye. Okay, Andrew, so you ready for the brief now then? Go ahead, Sam. Fantastic, okay, so we'll get started uh, just briefing from the class, and here we go, we've got an A32200 today, um, with the IA engines and uh, active database, which is currently in date, and uh, no idle performance factors required. So we'll go to inner page A then and we'll just double check what everything we've got in here. So today we're doing Heathrow to Dublin. Um, we've got Belfast Autogrove as the alternate. Today's call sign is Speedbird 85 Quebec. Call sign is 20 and the cruise initially today for flight level 280. We've been cleared on the Compton 3 Foxtrot departure off runway 27 right today at Heathrow. What do you make the initial stop to be? Uh, looking at the SID here, I've got 6,000 feet. Fantastic. As I said, expecting Dublin runway 28 for arrival, just check with me for any of the gross error checks here on the box. I've got here one hour seven. Yep, I've got uh, 55 minutes here on the flight plan. Against a distance of 312? 314. Fantastic, and uh, landing here it says of 3.9. 3.6 tons. Brilliant, thanks very much. Just a quick review then of the rad nows. Uh, everything else is free tuning with the exception I've got ADF-1 here tuned to Woodley, just in case we need that for the departure. Okay. One of my favourite features of the Flight Sim Labs A320 is the remote MCDU function. Accessible on any portable device, the FSL A320 allows the possibility of running two devices simultaneously, one for each MCDU, which is great for setting up and monitoring the flight. If we need to come back in for a quick return, that's all fine. Quick view of progress page then, we've got GPS primary in high accuracy, 27 left is in there for the return, and as we talked about earlier, cruise of 280, but we can accept flight level 350 if we need to. And then just a quick review of the performance that we've got here. Fairly conservative figures here, we're doing a flap 3 departure off runway 27 right, with no shift, flex 69 degrees Celsius, and uh, fairly reasonable speeds there, and standard thrust reduction and engine out acceleration. Have a quick look on here, no need for a wraparound speed, so we'll keep that all managed. Hi, Fox Pods, uh, good afternoon. Okay, so for the taxi out, we're on stand 511. We're going to push to face north and taxi out via Alpha and expect to hold at Pluto. Uh, we're going to do single engine taxi today, so when do you think we should start the second engine? Well, it's quiet tonight, I would suggest as we turn east on Alpha. Fantastic. And just a quick review, if we do have any issues or any problems on the taxi out, we'll bring the aircraft to a complete stop. And if it's an ECAM problem, then we'll just say my radio is ECAM actions, and you'll deal with the necessary actions, and I'll let ATC know what we're doing. That's all understood. Any questions? No, no questions. I'll give delivery a call. Fantastic. Let's fly. Delivery Speedbird 85 Quebec, stand 511, information November 1016. We're in A320, ready for Dublin. Speedbird 85 Quebec, thank you. Hold position, guide 121, decimal 850. Bye bye. Hold position 121, 850, Speedbird 85 Quebec. That's fantastic, thanks Andrew. I'll have the before start checklist of the line then please. Corporate prep. Completed. Completed. Barrow ref. 1016 set. 1016 set. Heart break. On. Fuel on board. 6.6. .6. In it be. Loaded. Flex temp. 69. Speeds. 136. 136. 139. And green dot 207. That's the before start checklist to the line. Thank you. Flight deck ground. Go ahead, flight deck. Confirm all departure checks complete, please. Okay, stand by. Hold the taxi secure. Bypass been inserted and we're ready to put you. Okay, ground, stand by. Standing by. Ground, speedbird 85 Quebec, stand 511, push and start, please. 
With the flights in Labs A320, even when you're sitting on stand preparing the aircraft for push and start, there are things going on that you normally only see happening on the real aircraft. You can see the accumulated brake pressure gradually disperse with the parking brake set, the fuel pumps slightly warming the fuel temperatures, and you can hear the subtle fluctuations in the aircraft electrics and more system are brought online and place additional load on the electrical generators. It's very easy to believe you're sat in the real thing. My job is to make the last test before the first flight of the A320 at the factory. When I received the first Alpha version, the thing that surprised me most is the realism of the flight controls. I really felt like flying in the true simulator. About this A320, 
I also love the realism of the sound environment and graphics. Be sure to be in total immersion when you will fly this plane. I've been flying the real A320 for over five years now. And what I love about the flight sim loves A320 is the way they've captured the feel of the aircraft through the fly by wire system. The response of the flight controls is spot on, and it's a real pleasure to hand fly this aircraft. ALM 1030, monitor tower on 118.7. For safety and economical reasons, flying airliners is all about flying by the numbers, to be as close as possible to the optimal point. During these six years, we designed our own jet engine, aerodynamic, ground and brakes models, so that they are spot on in every combination of ambient pressure, temperature, Mach number, bleed demand from packs and anti -ice. The result is deadly accurate, even in abnormal situations, such as unreliable airspeed or single engine flight. As a pilot and engineer, it's a study simulation I have always dreamed of, and I'm very proud to have been part of this incredible adventure. The true beauty of the Flight Sim Labs A320 is that the team made no compromise when it comes to system simulation. The random system failure option means real-time decision making and real-time consequences. So get your thinking hat on and enjoy the ride. Start valve fault. Okay, thanks. My radios. Ground. Speedbird 85 Quebec. Speedbird 85 Quebec, ground. Can we initially hold short of hotel? We've got a small issue we need to resolve. I'll call you back in about 30 seconds. Okay, uh, there's one behind you, but uh, is there any chance you can just uh, do a U turn at link 11 to hold short of hotel? Call to Speedbird North. They suggest we stop and restart engine 2. Okay, thanks. Ground to move at 85 Quebec. Is there somewhere we can just go to park? Uh, yeah, if you could uh, go up to link 11 and then uh, do a U-turn back onto Bravo short of hotel. Okay, link 1-1, one, one, U-turn and hold short of hotel to move at 85 Quebec. You can actions please, Andy. Okay, engine 2 start valve full. Start valve not closed. Cross bleed shut. Bleed panel, cross bleed valve, shut. Engine master 2, off. Confirm engine master 2. Yep, number 2 confirms. Engine master 2, off. Speed 1790, just hold position, but if you ask your ground crew if they'd be happy to push you out onto Bravo to face towards the east, just let me know what they say. Okay, we'll leave 1790. Clear range. Cleared. Status page. Thanks Andy, okay, stoppy cam, just one moment, have we got any non-normal checklist, any normal checklist, any carriage checklist, any OBs or any computer resets we can do? Uh, negative, only pack 2, which we have selected off. Ecom actions complete. Let's see if we can get this thing going now. Starting two. Ground Air Canada 859 241, fully ready. The only way we could achieve a true to life simulation of the A320 was to design it from the bottom up, giving particular attention to the core infrastructure on which all of the aircraft systems are built upon. Macro 
To achieve this, we needed to develop new technologies that simulate very accurately the various electrical and data-driven networks found on the aircraft. The result of this and the remarkable precision with which the Flight Sim Labs A320 has been developed provide a truly unique experience, a real sense of flying a living, breathing machine. Turn left on Bravo, link 28 to join Alpha, hold at Saturn. Yeah, there we go. Looks like the start valve was closed this time. Okay, hey, uh, lift Bravo and link 28, then Alpha, hold set for Mark 235. Got a good start on two, all systems look normal. Thanks Andy. Ground 285 Quebec, the issue is resolved. We're happy to continue taxi. 285 Quebec, okay, right back onto Alpha then to hold up Pluto. Right back onto Alpha, hold up Pluto, 285 Quebec, thanks. Ground, good evening, Cap 8250, holding short of Cap 8250, turn right on Alpha, hold up Pluto. Run on Alpha, take in the holding point. Holding point, Pluto. Running Alpha, hold to the Pluto, Cafe, to Fargo. Shuttle 6 Julia, taxi Alpha, hold at Pluto. Alpha, hold Pluto, Shuttle 6 Julia, enable Alpha 4. Bring right for Yankee, ready for tide. Uh, speed at uh, 801, Alpha and Charlie to 556. Alpha, Charlie, 556, speed at 801. Springbok, X-ray Yankee, turn left on Alpha, at link 27, join Bravo. To hold short of Lima. Left on Alpha, Link 27 on the Fargo, holding short of Lima, X-ray Yankee. Full down. down. Full up. Set a line up and take off 27 right, any intersection you wish. Uh, surface wind 310 degrees, 5 knots. Thank you very much. We'll continue to Alpha 3, speed with 85 Quebec. No problem at all. Okay, Andy, so ATC have given us Alpha 3 for departure, so in that case, I'll take the before takeoff trip this to the line, please. Okay, uh, flight controls. Checked. TCAS is TARA. Load sheets acknowledged. Trims 30% at zero. Departure brief. Confirmed. Uh, take off data, we got uh, 27 right, take off, no shift. Mid degrees with full length from Alpha 3, runway 27 right, and I've got speeds of 136 blue, 139 mid uh, climb nav blue, 152, 6000 blue, and a flex of 69 degrees. Flat. Comp 3 green, uh, comp 3 blue. Cabin report. Flat, you can memo. Take off, no blue. That's the before takeoff checklist down to the line. Thank you. Binair 5 Papa Alpha, contact London 118-825, good night. London 118-825, Papa Alpha, goodbye. Binair 5 Papa Alpha, 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 Looking back to when this development process started, I am constantly amazed by the magnitude of what we have achieved today. This is likely the most complex and magnificent aircraft ever simulated on a desktop computer. Hundreds of individually coded systems provide fidelity and accuracy exactly matching their real-life counterparts. It took every ounce of commitment and dedication from our development team and the continuous assistance of our advisors and testers to bring the Flight Sim Labs A320 to your computer. We hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Okay, Andy then, so I'll take the below the line, please. Okay, take off runway. 27 right, 27 right. Cabin crew signal is given. Uh, packs are off. And that's the before takeoff checklist complete. That's great, thanks, Andy. Could you just confirm with ATC what our clearance is, please? Tower speed at 85 Quebec. Can you confirm? 
confirm the clearance. 385 Quebec, you clear for takeoff, 27 right, 3105. Clear takeoff, 27 right, 3105 Quebec. Okay, here we go, takeoff. Turkish 1 Fox on Victor, are you ready for your budget? Ready. Roger, straight ahead, line up 27 right. Line up 27 on that, you're right. That's right, 59 SRS, runway. All right, that's playing. Cross there. Springbok 235, straight ahead, give way to Cathay from your left, then hold out for three. Well, give way to Cathay, straight ahead, hold out for three. 100 knots. Cathay, 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 Positive climb, gear up, gear up. Now, 8485 Quebec, contact London 134-1125. 134-12, Spirit 85 Quebec, we'll see you soon.